Hello there, my name is Gianmarco Maioli and welcome to my channel. So today I got something somewhat exciting in my opinion. It's a finding from Facebook Marketplace. Because it's rather special in my view, I thought it required to be the protagonist of a video. So here in this box, in this teen box, there's a brand new camera, a film camera. This box is from 2001. So yeah bit old, yet again, what's inside, it's brand new. But before we get into what's inside this camera, I would like to, you know, remind you that if you like this video and you like this channel, there's plenty of videos coming um, the nearby future and please leave a like or subscribe, do whatever you want, to be honest. Let's get inside. Jesus, that sounds so kinky. I don't know if you can see me here. No. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is basically an attempt to, you know, show the camera properly. Um, forgive for both showing my phone here. I know it's very unprofessional of me, but I really bloody suck at, um, you know, preparing some sort of stage for this kind of video. Um, I struggled a lot in the past and I'm still struggling today. So yeah, anyway, I'm just going to adjust for your vision well, what you can see here, it says Olympus, so you might know where we're heading from here. As I said previously, this camera was found on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, Generous Lass was selling it uh, for a reasonable price of... Well, maybe you're not interested in the price, but yeah, it was a fair price, a very fair price. And I'm not going to use this camera in the future. I'll explain later why. Let's see inside what we have in this box. So first of all, we're probably going to move through the useless things like, for example, these, a branded um, Olympus. I have no clue what this is. I think it's a film holder somehow, like, you, you're, you're probably meant to keep your either your negatives or your prints in this sort of, you know, um, I have no clue how to call it. If you do not, if you do know how it, how this is used to be called, it is very uncommon in my opinion, in my view, I've never seen something like this nowadays. Um, if you do know how it's called, please let us know in the comments, it would be really appreciated. Okay, made a slight adjustment to the ISO of this video. Let's move on to the next part. Next bit is a photo card. It's in German, which unfortunately I do not know. You can really show them from 98 because I, <laughs> I have no clue what this is. I was three years old when I was in 2001. So these kind of things are rather uncommon. For, for me, I'm just looking inside. It looks to be some sort of plastic or or like glass, plexiglass sort of. But I, I think it's meant to basically, from, from here you can see uh, someone is murdering this picture and it's framing it with this um, credit card, photo card thingy. So, from my understanding, this is probably a protection for, for pictures, but you have to, you have to crop <laughs> the pictures with, with, your, with, with scissors. So you have to murder a picture in order to protect it, which is, yeah, it's a oxymoron, in my opinion. Moving onwards, and I think it's the time for, you know, the main course of this video. I'm going to move the team box away because honestly, we do not need it anymore. Although it's very nice um, from, from basically what you can, can see on the tin box is all the cameras that were used to be sold during 2001 from Olympus. There are many options that I do know about, like for example, the, um, the Mu 2 version 2 here, a very famous one, but they're also like uncommon cameras like this one. I have no bloody clue what, what's the name of this one, honestly. Uh, I've never seen it. Um, probably going to Google all of them. Um, and there's also, of course, 
the you know the usual SLR from from Olympus the OM they're showing here is the OM4 of course one of the latest SLRs from from Olympus but let's move on to the main course as you can read from here this is a brand new Mew 2 Zoom 115. 115 stands for the maximum length of the um, of the lens, of course. Um, I think the minimum is here, as it says here, is 38. So it's 38 from 115 millimeters. Uh, and it's a brand new. Um, I have to be honest with you, I already opened it once, just to be sure that the girl on Facebook Marketplace wasn't, you know, I don't know, selling rocks instead of, of cameras. Um, but yeah, this is a brand new camera, brand new Olympus Mew 2 Zoom 115. Uh, let's see inside what, what we'll find. Um, from, you know, blunt guess, I think there's a camera inside. <laughs> As I told you, I already know that's, that the camera is inside, but let's see what they used to sell. I mean, what they used to put into boxes. There's a lot of discussion about like, for example, Apple not, putting any more charges into the phone cases, uh, not, not sorry, phone cases, uh, iPhone boxes. Um, and we can make a comparison with what used to be a part of a, of a brand new camera box back in 2001. And for example, we have the warranty. Uh, it's a worldwide warranty from Olympus. It has probably expired a long time ago. So yeah, can throw it away. Shouldn't show that I throw stuff away, honestly, but it's fine. And here we have the very own instructions. I think, yeah, these are the quick instructions. I'm not going to open them because it's probably going to, to make a mess. And we'll move on to what's probably the last item into this box. And yeah, you can already guess what it is. This is of course the camera. Put this box there. And let's do this properly, Gianmarco, please. All right. Yeah, no, I didn't do it properly, that's fine. <laughs> so aside from the usual wrist lace, I think this is how it's called, uh, which I'm going to leave there. This is the camera and you can see it's still into his bubble wrapping. And as I unwrap it, it's here. Now you cannot see it correctly because reasons. But yeah, I'm trying to let you see it a bit better and it's properly new. It's fantastic. You can you can see that the paint hasn't you know hasn't been touched in, in well in twenty years because it's probably from two thousand and one and I don't know the last year of production for, for these cameras, but I can guess that this was one probably of the last few years of production. Maybe they, they were pr produced until 2006, maybe as maximum. I'm not sure, I'm really not sure, but yeah, this is the camera. It's bloody awesome. And let's just try what this camera was born to do so it's a bit honestly it's a bit stiff but yeah so the flesh pops up by itself i did did not know that i had my finger on it but yeah this is the camera you can see how this now if i, if I manage to <laughs> highlight yeah the lens is spotless of course Let's just see if this camera goes. Okay, it's not shooting because I have to, most of these cameras, if you if you own a Mew or a Mew 2 or any of the Mews from Olympus, you'll know that um, the only way you have to, to make these cameras shoot, um, take a picture and you know fire, is by putting your, your eye next to the uh, viewfinder because there's a sensor. Um, I'm not going to put my eye because otherwise it's probably just going to be like, like these, it's probably a bit too tough. I'm just going to, you know, put my finger nearby it and see if it shoots. And yeah. 
and it does shoot, of course. So I do not know how to not use the flash in this case. Uh, okay, there's a, a few few options here, as you can. So you can basically uh, use there are different modes for the flash here. I'm just going to remove it. There's also an option to use the camera from some distance with a wireless um, shutter. I'm not sure how this would work. I don't have here in this box the, 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 the thingy bop that allows you to <laughs> shoot from remote. I don't remember the remote controller. Exactly. Well done, Jamarco. And of course, because it's a zoom um, point shoot, you can zoom in. And you can see it's rather long. Um, and then to switch it off. So I'm going to put this camera back in, into its wrapping and conclude the video with my personal opinion. But yeah, I'm really happy of finding this, this camera and just having it in my hands for a few, for a few days, a few hours. So welcome back. You can totally see the mess that I made in order to sort of create a stage for, for this unboxing. And so why did I say that this camera is going to be with me for just a few days? Um, mostly because I'm not actually interested in the camera. I've checked online, as I usually do with most pointed shoots cameras, um, the, the results from other photographers um, after using this camera. And honestly, I'm not impressed. <laughs> I love that this camera is new, that it hasn't been uh, used in 20 years, but I'm not a fan of the, you know, the results from this camera, so I don't really care about keeping it. <laughs> it's very easy. Um, you can definitely buy uh, a Mew 1 for, for the same price that some people are selling this camera. I'm not going to keep it, but I was really happy to shoot this video and, and show you a brand new camera, brand new film camera in 2022. Unfortunately, most manufacturers of cameras are not producing any um, new point and shoot uh, camera, not even SLRs. I think maybe aside from Leica, I don't think there are um, SLRs being produced nowadays. So yeah. I hope you liked this video. If you if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're interested. You got plenty of videos, not really plenty, but some other videos um, in this channel. Um, so feel free to, you know, have a, have a tour of the channel. And as always, um, enjoy your life. Cheers.